Welcome back to the Solana video series. In this video, you'll learn how decentralized exchangers work and even launch your very own DEX. Subscribe to the channel and let's get started. In the last video, you got to know the Solana network, learn how to use wallets and create your tokens. We will need these skills today. You can find a link to the previous video in the description. On centralized exchanges, liquidity, that is the ability to quickly sell cryptocurrency at a market price, is provided by makers. People who create pending orders that are sent to the order book and waiting for their execution if the asset reaches a certain price. Such orders are executed by takers, people who want to instantly sell or buy an asset. Thus, on exchanges with high liquidity of assets, you can always quickly sell a cryptocurrency at a price close to the market price. For more information about who the makers and takers are, as well as about the liquidity system on exchanges, you can watch our video, a link to which will be in the description. If everything is quite simple with centralized exchanges, how is trading organized on a decentralized network? Where does liquidity come from? In the DeFi sector of a Solana network, there are decentralized exchanges that operate on the principle of an order book, for example, Serum. But today we will talk about another implementation of decentralized exchanges of the AMM system, Automated Market Maker. Examples of AMMs you may already have heard of are Uniswap on the Ethereum network or PancakeSwap on the Binance Smart Chain network. In such a system, for each trading pair, there is a so-called liquidity pool. Each such pool is essentially a smart contract that is a program implemented in the blockchain that automatically performs certain actions. A smart contract manages two token storages, which are exchanged in a given trading pair. The price of a token in a trading pair in relation to the other depends on the ratio of their liquidity, that is the number of stored tokens. For example, if the liquidity pool in the amount of one token equals 20 and the second 100, that is, it would be 1 to 5 ratio. And when exchanging their prices, the ratio will also be 1 to 5. Note that during the exchange, the ratio of number of tokens in the vaults and the price change. And from where do these tokens in these vaults come from? These tokens are sent to the liquidity pool by ordinary users who are called liquidity providers. In most of these systems, to user providing liquidity, an equal amount of each of the token in dollar terms must be sent to the pool. This means that if a user wants to send $1,000 to the liquidity pool, he will need to send $500 in one token and $500 in another. In return for the provided liquidity, users receive so-called LP tokens, which act as a kind of receipt with which the user can return their tokens from the liquidity pool. For the provided liquidity, users are rewarded with commissions from each exchange in their trading pair. Also, some of the commissions are held by the decentralized exchanger itself. But what happens to the liquidity pool if users start making many one-way exchanges? That is, massively withdrawing one token from the pool and not the other one. The price of an asset with a growing quantity in storage will begin to fall steadily and may reach critical values. This is called an impermanent loss. In our example, the sale of just 1,882 tokens resulted in a 99% price change. As a result of an impermanent loss, liquidity providers may be left with a large number of tokens for which there is no demand. If the price of one of your tokens in the liquidity pool begins to fall while the price of the other rises or stands still, you will begin to suffer losses that will be recovered if the token price returned to one vector. Now let's launch our own EMM exchanger. We showed the whole process of installing the Solana toolkit, creating a wallet and getting the test soul airdrop in the last video, with which you can acquaint by clicking the link in the description. We will start with an already created wallet and receive the test souls from the airdrop to pay commissions. I remind you that all commands and necessary tools from today's video you will find in the description. First you need to install the git tool, if you don't already have it. You can check this with the command git version. If instead of git version you see an error in the output, you need to install git by downloading the git installer for Windows or Mac OS from the link in the description. In the case of Linux, git will most likely be already installed. However, if you find out that it's not the case, install it using the command you now see on the screen. Then use the link in the description to install node.js for your system. After installing node.js, restart your command line or terminal and go to the folder that we created in the last video. Copy it into the 
the GitHub repository, the link to which you will find in the description, using the command git clone. Then go to the folder with the copied repository. Here we need to set variables to get commissions for exchanges in our decentralized exchanger. You can do this by editing the .env file in any text editor located in the folder of the copied repository. You will need to add your address into lines to receive commissions. After that, enter two set commands in the terminal specifying your address again. After setting the variables, enter three commands to complete the installation of all third-party components. All that remains is to bring up the local server by entering the two short commands. Great, the exchanger will be launched on your local server. To access it, go to the displayed link from your browser. On there, you will see your self-made decentralized exchanger and the Solana blockchain. You can change the network in the settings, but we'll continue to work with the Solana main network. To interact with the exchanger, connect your wallet. By default, you will need to use the solid wallet, opened in the tab of the same browser and working the same network with the exchanger. You can find the link to the wallet in the description. To demonstrate how the exchanger works, we created and minted two tokens in advance in the Solana main network. We explained how to do this in detail in the previous video. Switching the console wallet of the Solana main network can be done using the command Solana config set. In a decentralized exchanger you launch, you can perform all actions similar to real exchangers. For example, you can create a liquidity pool, including a pool with your own tokens. After that, make real exchanges and observe the mechanisms of AMM in practice. In the next series, we'll analyze the mechanism of work of credit system on the Solana blockchain and even launch our own service providing such opportunities. Subscribe to the Krypton channel and our social media. All links will be in the description.